Hi, and welcome to the second Google Docs tutorial. In the first Google Docs, you learned how to navigate Google Docs, shortcuts to launching these docs, and how to save your documents in a folder. Today, we're going to be talking about um, how to search in Google Docs, how to star items in Google Docs, and other functions um, on the toolbar located at the top of your Google Docs homepage. To begin, let's sign in. You may need to type in your username and your password. Click sign in and it should take you to your email, your Gmail. Um, next, we're going to go up to this upper left and we're going to click on Documents and it will take you to your Google Docs homepage. Um, let's look at all items. To begin, let's look at our search um, function. To search, you must click inside this square, this rectangle, and it will highlight it with a light blue highlighter around it. I am looking for a document that I have in my Google Docs. Um, it is a test that I need to give tomorrow to my students. It is the life processes test. So I typed in an L. It gave me every single document I have in Google Docs that has an L in it. This is it. I could either finish typing it or take my cursor and go down to life processes test. Click on it and it will open my life processes test. Next, um, we'll talk about new. Um, new, as you look, there's an arrow that click, means that there are more options under here, so I will click on it. It shows me that you can, um, go, you can um, go for a new document, a new presentation, a new spreadsheet, a new form, or a new folder. The new folders are very beneficial to organize your Google Docs page. Um, you, all you need to do is click on any of these, and it will take you to a brand new um, document. Next, let's go to the up bar. Um, you learned about this in the last tutorial. Uploading is just bringing documents that you have on your computer already and putting them on Google Docs so that if you, um, by chance, um, have something on your desktop at home that you would like to see at school, you don't have to take a flash drive or a disk. All you have to do is go to your, your Google Docs page and you can open it. The share was also briefly discussed in your last tutorial. Next, let's talk about moving to, moving documents. Um, this is my life processes test. I would like to move it to my internship and teaching folder. I need to check the box beside it or else this will not work. Check the box. Go over here to move to. Click on my folders. And I want to put it in internship and teaching and then click move to folder and it says right here at the top life process test has been added to internship and teaching if I go down here to internship and teaching it is right there um, next let's go back to our home page um, to hide I know that all of these are saved somewhere else so if you would like to have a clean home page all you have to do is again check the box and click hide and that document goes away um, you can do this to all of them. You can do multiple at a time by just clicking checks and it will hide all of these documents. Next is delete. If you would like to delete an item, you click on the check and you click delete um, and just trash for everyone and it deletes that sheet. Next, if you would like to rename something, not go to it like I did. Do not click on it, um, but simply check on it, click rename, and as you see, um, it highlights the name and you can erase it and create a new name for it. And then click enter and it is saved. Other actions that are on this toolbar, again, there's that starring it option. You can change owners, and then you can save these as many different types of documents, such as PDFs um, or Word document. Those are the two most popular ones. And those are just a few um, more things that you can do with Google Docs. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial, um, and have a great day.